Welcome everyone to Wizard Masters. I'm Nevis, and this is something that just popped up on the screen. Thanks for playing. Thank you for being a part of our launch. To show our appreciation, please enjoy these gems. We hope you are enjoying your time at Hogwarts and can't wait to share new experiences with you in the coming months. So, awesome! We, because we downloaded the game early and whoever I guess did so as well, I'm hoping everybody who downloaded early experienced this as well, but we get 100 gems. So we get 100 gems for downloading the game early and starting early in the game. And, uh, you know, I wish that I am, you know, hopefully getting as much of this out as possible here at Wizard Masters. We're trying to give you our experience through Hogwarts Mystery and so, you know, we're really excited that that you're here and thank you so much. So we're collecting these gems and we're moving forward with the game. So if you recall previously, uh, we attended a initial lesson on broom flying with Ben and uh, then we also uh, I think left off with uh, potential playing gobstones with Rowan so uh, there's our ghost he's nice and colorful and vivid and uh, you know I'm just giving a quick scroll through the through the first uh, lower floor west level here and uh, I think we're just gonna go ahead and move into the game and go into the courtyard here so <clears throat> thanks again for watching and please feel free to uh, like and subscribe we're gonna go meet with Rowan go play some game the courtyard so this is cool this is if I recall where Harry gets dropped off uh, Harry and Hermione get dropped off uh, from Sirius and the Hippogriff, and uh, I don't really remember there being this around the fountain or fountain, but I remember the courtyard itself, so very cool. And I think let's go ahead and click on Rowan's exclamation point. Thanks for inviting me, Rowan. After everything with Marilla and Snape, I could use a break. Hogwarts shouldn't be about bullies and barely escaping death. It should be about learning, magic, and having fun. Wait until you play Gobstones. I play it on the farm all the time. Mostly because I'm not strong enough to help with actual farming. It will be fun to play with another person for once. Thanks for helping me adjust to things here, by the way. Of course! It's nice having a friend who understands me. I can help explain, and, and can help explain everything about Hogwarts. I wish I could explain why Marula is such a bully. I've been researching her family to try and understand why she acts the way she does. Let's just relax, and you can tell me what you found out about Marula while we play. Brilliant! Gobstones is the finest skill testing manual dexterity game in the world. It's a bit like the muggle game Marbles, except that every time you a point is scored, the loser gets sprayed in the face. Sprayed with what? No one knows, but it smells awful. Alright, so we're going to play the game here. I'm not certain what this is all going to be about. Gobstones with Rowan, we need three diamonds to pass. Recommended attributes, we need one courage, one empathy, and book smarts there, knowledge. If you do well in this interaction, you'll strengthen your friendship. High attribute levels it will improve your chance of success. So I mean, you know, we're level 1. It says 0 of 50 with Rowan here. And I guess we get some friendship rewards. So it costs us 10 galleons to start. And I feel like I don't know why we gotta pay to play the game, but let's play the game. Hogwarts is more frightening than I thought it would be. 
Don't worry, Rowan. Everything will be okay. Good luck, wizard. The only time I ever lose at Gobstones is when I get distracted. So we need to start distracting Rowan immediately. Every interaction has different goal. In this one, impress Rowan by winning at Gobstones. Let's play, wizard. Alright. We need three diamonds to pass. The best way to beat Rowan is by distracting him. Did you hear something? I better concentrate. What are your favorite books? Mm, I think that's... I mean, did you hear something, but, you know? Perfect. That's exactly what we want. We want that green check. You got bonus points for your high knowledge level. Bam, bam. You get high knowledge bonus plus two. And, haha, <laughs> he's laughing at me, I don't know why. Good play, wizard. I could have con I could have countered it, but I was so distracted. Which is exactly what we need. Thanks, Rowan. I think I'm starting to understand gobstones. The more you distract a, a choice... The more distracting a choice is, the more you'll fill the diamond meter. Let's talk about a wand wood. That, I think that's a good one. Shh, I'm trying to focus. Sounds not so, but... I think it's distracting. I think I'm gonna go with. Mm, let's talk about Wandwood. I think that's the one. Each time you want to do. Okay, yeah. How do you like gobstones? Mm. I'm having an issue here. Okay, that was the one. Okay, I was worried. I was really, really worried. Success! You distracted Rowan. Plus 10. You get a high knowledge. You're doing well, wizard. I'll never win if I keep getting distracted. Alright. Looks like strategy is working. Let's join the Gobstones Club. Let's discuss study habits. Let's bunk off school. Let's get distracted instead. Uh, let's discuss study habits. Uh, that was definitely not it. Let's bunk off school is the one that we need to do. I can't believe you might win. What's that supposed to mean? The library burned down. Snape is a vampire. I... <laughs> I'm gonna go with Snape is a vampire. I don't understand here. I think that's where I want to go. Hmm. What is this holding of the ball the way that they are? <laughs> okay, so it wasn't a horrible answer, but apparently not a great answer. The library burned down. That would have been the one. You beat me, wizard. Pretty impressive for your first time playing gobstones. Well, I think I probably had a decent teacher and, you know, distracting you was the way to go. So success, and we got the three stock, the three uh, diamonds. And that was our first run with gobstones. So we collect those, we get to level two, we only need 30 for that. We unlocked five gems. You improve your friendship. You can take this person on some future adventures. So that's awesome. We have the opportunity to move forward and, and progress. Okay. So we have... <laughs> what is going on? Some people think Gobstones isn't cool, but I've always something something because I can't... Thank you for playing. I've never been especially good at making friends. So... <laughs> We got a little glitch in the game there. I don't know if anybody else has experienced this. We became pretty fr pretty good friends quickly. Some people think I'm either useless, weakling, or awkward nerd. But you're weird like me. No offense. <clears throat> I take it as a compliment. Yeah, I really do, actually. And the double Rowan continues. Isn't this precious? Oh, lovely Marula. Hello, masters. You are unfortunately looking well after wrestling with the devil's snare. 
While you're off playing with plants, I've been doing a little research about your brother. Why don't you just leave me alone? Yes, I agree. Just bugger off. Because you're a danger to Hogwarts just like him, and none of us will be safe until you're gone. What are you talking about, Marula? Master's brother didn't just get expelled for endangering the school in, research, in search of the imaginary vault. He immediately went missing, and the next time he was seen, he was working for Voldemort. You can't say that. You have to call him he who must not be named. Apparently, you're yeah, insane. You're lying about my brother having anything to do with he who must not be named. No wonder the professors were talking about you before the feast. They're wondering if you work for the Dark Lord too. Well, I'm just going to reason with her because expose her secrets, I have really none. And ignore her. Well, no, I'll, I'll ignore her. Yeah, I'll, I'll just ignore her. Or maybe reason with her. There we go. What happened to make you. What happened to you that made you so mean? Why don't you just live your own life and leave me alone? Why don't you drop out of Hogwarts, save Ravenclaw, and your little friend here embarrassment for being associated with you? You're just afraid that I am better than you. Afraid? I'll do you right, duel you right now. Well, I can't walk away, because I'm not strong enough here. I only have one in Courage, so... Lumos! You know, perfection. Uh, she thinks that's obviously hilarious. Pathetic. Flipendo. Oh, dang. She just dropped me. Learn a few more spells, masters. Maybe next time you'll put up a fight. Yeah, I definitely don't have any spells. It's the only one I know. And, well, Rowan's beside himself. <laughs> Marula is never going to leave us alone. Not unless I learn more spells and find someone who can teach me how to duel. So, and I click the exclamation point here, and I think this is our, our friend icon that they are alluding to. Yes. So we're at level two with Rowan, and we get five gems for level three. And you can kind of scroll a little bit and see that we have a few other friends. We got Ben and Penny Haywood. Ooh, there's Bill. We got Bill Weasley, Nymphadora, Tonks, Tulip Parasu. And Barnaby Lee. That's our buddies. Those are our friends. And there we go. So, <clears throat> just pop in here. And that's that's our buddy Ro. Character info: the curious reader and inspires to youngest youngest professor at Hogwarts. Rowan's knowledge can help you solve any mystery. So that gives us a little insight into what Rowan can help us out with as a buddy. This quote here is beautiful. Pop into some potions real quick there, but you know, we know what that's all about. And we want to finish our chapter and uh, summon our broom, so that's where we're going to head to now in the courtyard. So we're going to scroll through here. I just want to check this out again because I don't know about you, but is this guy lost? No. Whoa! 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 Alright, so at least he's gotten himself a little bit more acclimated to the broom. Because, I mean, last time we saw that guy, he was all over the place. But that guy, man, he is moving. He is moving. That is so cool. So, oh yeah, let's, um, let's touch that and see. Oh wait, that's probably not good. Yeah. Well, it works. Every time you come back, you can you can get 
easy quick energy, but um, yeah, we're already full, so that may have worked against us. So, anywho, let us do summon broom. We need two stars to pass. They're giving us three hours to play, and the reward is one energy, one plus energy limit. So, broom care and maintenance. Madam Hooch, welcome back to flying class. After observing your first lesson, I will now teach you how to summon your broom. Before you can summon your broom, however, you need to learn how to maintain it. To your broom care stations. So we're gonna sit down with our brooms and learn how to maintain it. So here we are, summon broom. We have three hours to do so. We're gonna go ahead and polish first. I should give my broom a once over. And so I'm just looking over my broom. And I, I tapped on Marula, so I'm going to go back here. I'm going to tap on that so that way we can care for them. And Marula says, Get your hands off my thing, which is real hard. And we tap on there again, we watch. Oh dear, I butchered my broom brussels. Because, you know, Rowan, he's a little, he's a little off there. This old broom needs a lot of work, is what I'm noticing here. And use, I want to ride to be nice, I want my ride to be nice and smooth. Yeah, so we don't fall to certain death. So, we yeah, 16 of 24. And we're going to go ahead and turn... Tap here for broom. I'll have the best room in class, hopefully. And we'll do a little listen here. We should have a race around the castle. Wow, Rowan's feeling ambitious now. We gotta listen a little more here. It would be a shame if you throw off your broom and landed in the Black Lake. Thank you for being so positive, madam. Can I borrow care from you? Okay, so, we've gotten to our first star, and we get to choose our reward, and courage is what I need. That'll really help us, and... Brilliant! Alright, so I'm gonna just... Add a little stain there, just polish up my broom. It's about ready for the takeoff. Alright, I got 10 points in courage as well for that. That's highly needed. Prepare to summon broom. It's time to practice summoning your broom. Step up, hold out your right hand, and say, Up! As we know, it's going to be difficult, so we're going to listen. Flying provides great joy and great chance of falling to your death, so, you know, pay attention. And so, <clears throat> we're going to keep trying to summon our brain here. And we are running drastically low on energy, which is obviously a part of the game. We only got 30 seconds to go here, so we're going to wait out that 30 seconds. And uh, thanks again for watching, everybody. So, we know that this is a difficult task just to get the broom up. We are obviously not Harry Potter, because one of the things that we witnessed in the movie and in the book was just immediate boom. So, he got that thing right up there, and that is obviously not what we're going to do, but we got our extra energy here and we're going to pop in everything I every time I think I've got it I haven't which sounded very British I know but that's how it seemed to be right there so we wonder and so we're back to this again we gotta wait four minutes to do that plus a little bit more So, how do you suppose we should press our time here? We got three minutes to go. 
And I just want to kind of put out there that it seems as though the game is heavily based on energy, as you can see. And I feel that if you're willing to go ahead and wait, that it's very possible to get the tasks done. In regards to how we're playing here, it obviously seems that time is of the essence. I'm not going to put too much of my gems into this, but I think I'm going to try and at least give the opportunity to experience the game from the perspective of trying not to put so much money into it. This may be a little time consuming in some aspects, and in regards to a YouTube channel it most certainly does, but I want to give more of the perspective of how the game would be if you did actually not put so much of your own real money, you know, however you perceive real money, into the game so that you can progress through the game more quickly. And ultimately, most of these mobile device games most certainly have an aspect like this. And, you know, there was, I think, some concern. I even, I think, recall somebody saying something on, uh, like, Twitter about, you know, hopefully uh, Rowan Atkinson, or <laughs> Rowan Atkinson. Uh, I'm looking at Rowan, I said Rowan Atkinson, that's hilarious. Uh, J.K. Rowan Rowling would uh, not allow something like this to take place to where you would be, you know, putting so much money and having, uh, you know, your children even be like so like anxious about, you know, trying to get through the game and, and you know, hopefully not paying a lot of money. But, you know, that's, that's obviously not the case. Uh, there is a very large aspect of putting your own money into progressing through the game more quickly and uh, well I, I would hope that as we progress through the game and as you level up uh, which I was hoping that maybe was an indication uh, after we've completed one of our tasks here that we would get an increase in energy I mean that's that would be highly beneficial I'm not certain if paying with gems uh, and, and a larger amount than what you have, you know, like for example, I'm at 24. If that would indicate that I might be able to increase my energy, but I, I doubt it. So, so I'm not willing to put anything into that currently. But we just increased our energy level here um, in about 10 seconds. So, so we got five, four, three, two, one. So that way we can at least see what this does in our progression. Who would have thought that picking up a broom could be so difficult? Well, that's true. So we're going <laughs> to go grab some energy real quick because basically we do not have enough energy to get through. So we just went through these towers and we... Um, we're going to the West Towers, if you recall, there's the Oranges. And I don't know if there's anything else on here, but I mean, we're going to go ahead and try and tap a little bit here. Because we only need a little bit of energy to get us through. Just pop. Oops. <laughs> and we'll go to the Dungeon. And there's Dobby. Yeah. Tap on Dobby. Oh, he's out! Bye, Dobby! Miss you! Little oh, Dobby. Alright, so that, that at least gives us three here. So I believe that that will be able to give us enough to get past the next part here. And go ahead and tap the lot guys with Night Peak. Because we know her eyes are so bewitching. Never seen anyone with yellow eyes before? No, I have not. And truly, something of the uh, you know, cat eye sort as well. So, 
you're getting to a point now where we cannot be continuously waiting minutes and minutes and minutes, but uh, we're pretty close. We're pretty close to one more energy, so I'm going to go ahead and wait that one out a little bit, and hopefully this will get us just that much closer to our summon boom and our two stars to pass. Because this game, we're, we're most certainly not going to have this episode be three hours long. I mean, that did not happen. But, what did happen is that my thought process on possibly using some of these gems that we've already acquired here to progress a little bit in the story here, I think might be prudent. Might be prudent, so want to definitely see where this puts us as far as the leveling up on the stars to pass after about 15 seconds here because this this might take another you know hey let's let's pop through the castle one more time I don't I'm not really certain I think there might be some other places we can go but all right, so let's see what this does for us here. <clears throat> She's really being patient with this man, Pooch. When do we get up to fly? In the, get to fly up in the air? I mean, that's that's an absolutely valid question, because. That is what I would like to do. And I really want to ignore Marula because I feel like it's only going to... It's really only going to... distract us from the process here. So let's pop back out. See if there is anything else that we can find as far as energy in the castle. And the dog's not there, so I think, you know, it's probably pretty... Yep. It's... You have one per login, maybe? Like once you log in and log out, maybe... You know, the girl might come back and be disappearing from that portrait, so you can click on it. The little stick might show up. The oranges, obviously, but you know, I'm just pretty much just tapping on anything, seeing if it conjures up, pun, pun intended, any energy for us. And in all reality, it does take up some of the other time that we have here too. So let's see. If oh, was that for the fire? Or, no, I don't think that was for the fire. Um, oh, okay, there you go. For the warriors. So we have energy in the warriors that we can gather. And that gave us two. That gave us two. That, that really, really makes up a lot of difference. But it seems as though after that, nothing else. We'll go back to the training grounds here. Let's summon the broom. So we go, we tap Madame Pooch and we discuss her hair. Long hair only increases your chance of falling to your death. I mean, entanglement, uh, you know, blowing in your eyes, distraction, yeah, that makes sense. And then again, I want to ignore Marula because I feel like that's just pointless. So I'm going to tap on myself, try harder. Why is this broom so stubborn? I agree, because we have no energy once more, and we just have a few minutes, or a few seconds left, and I'm going to wait that one out, because I know that it's probably going to be more than what I got, but it's at least worth the try to see if maybe that one energy is enough to get us there. Five... Four, three, two, one. 
tap, and hopefully it's not. Uh, it's definitely more than what we got. And I don't think little nine minutes is a thing. So we basically are going to jump in here. We got just a few minutes left on that last one. And so that's basically where we're sitting is we're going to tap that and we're going to tap that and that'll get us into waiting just well just over a minute to see if maybe we can progress through get this last wonder ha 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 and Madam Hooch is being very patient with us as I mentioned before but I mean technically we really haven't taken that much of her time waiting for this and hopefully not so much time for you and we'll be able to get through this last part of the lesson prepared to summon broom and you know once you've summoned broom then you mount this bad boy and then you're off but I'm sure that there will be something in our way before we get to that point but nonetheless we are so close that we can taste the wonder and see if we can progress through to this through this uh, through this lesson hopefully we can get there so we got two and one and let's go ahead and tap the wonder who was the first person to decide a broom was a good idea So we got here to listen, about three more energy to use up, three and a half minutes to even get one energy to get through to that. So I feel like at this point, we're going to, I think maybe we got 117 gems. I think it's a good investment to try and progress this just a little bit more quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to see how much it costs to get some gems here or to use some, some gems here. So yeah, uh, I definitely don't want to get 30. I'm worried that it'll go to waste. So I'm going to stick with the bit of energy for 10 and buy those so for 20 gems we'll probably hopefully get through this lesson so all right so we're going to listen three times to tree suggest you listen if you want to avoid certain death and we have just a little bit more courage that I want because I think we're just a little short on the others in empathy and knowledge. So I'm going to select the five courage. And now, Mr. Masters, let's see you summon your broom. Up. Trace the path. Up. Brilliant. And yeah, we got ourselves a broom in hand. And, ooh, we got 10 points for courage in that. That's perfect. And, yes, we have successfully learned to summon our broom. And that makes things just that much more exciting in regards to progression and being able to fly. So, yeah, that's, that's awesome. We're going to go ahead and, you know, hopefully that will give us a little house cup points. We also got some courage there of total of 25, so learn to summon our broom. We're going to collect those for sure. And yes, it levels up in courage. That's great. And that puts us at 3 of 10. 
we are just that much forward to completing the chapter. So we'll collect those 75, 150, and gain Ben as a as a friend, which we've already kind of established, but we'll gain him as a friend. And so we'll collect those, and yes, there we are. So we've completed chapter three, and we're into chapter four, Revenge is Best Served Magical. Marula will continue to be a thorn in your side unless you improve your dueling skills. Perhaps you can find a tutor. So yeah, I think this is where we will conclude our episode. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe, please, and thank you. Throw some comments down there, and uh, hope to see you for our next episode. It will be soon. Thank you again. Wizard Masters here, I'm Nieves, and have a wonderful day. Peace.